Welcome back to Nerd with J and J. My name is James Charmack. So, what you're looking at right now is the gold label uh, version of the figure we're going to be doing, the uh, Dark Knight Returns uh, Batman figure. Uh, I actually bought that a few months ago from Amazon Warehouse. Be it, you know, the price is right. I didn't read a fine, fine print, but the gold label is basically an all gray figure. So, anyways, we'll look at the legit comic book inspired one. So. Uh, and we'll finish off the wave and actually build the uh, horse, so uh, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so your standard McFarlane build a figure, you know, big box uh, figure, parts over here, accessories, but not. Uh, window display right there with the character's name right there. On the back, you usually have your build a figure right here, or in this case, we're going to build a horse. Go and try to get in this pose, probably won't be able to, but it'll be awesome if we can. And every other card for the, Eric, for the character we've done already. Uh, Batman, the Dark Knight Returns, and the uh, logo right on the top. And back to the front, nice little display right there, logo on the top there. The usual stuff, 22 uh, moving parts and the McFarlane logo on the top. So let's crack the box open, take a look at the figure, take a look at the parts. Uh, and we'll put the force together and see how he looks. We have the figure out of the package looking very cool, very spot on to the comic. He's very stocky for, you know, a, compared to your traditional Batman, just because he's been out of practice for so long. He just let himself go, more or less. He's 55 years old. He's an old man, technically. I mean, I'm 49, so, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I don't really consider it that old, but, you know, in 85, it was old. So, anyways. You know, comic accurate outfit, pretty cool. Nice solid black bat. Has a little bit of texture to it, so that's kind of cool. I like how there's a lot of uh, creases and whatnot in the outfit, making it look like it's kind of ill-fitting. Uh, Concerned this has been in mothballs for decades, probably, so it's just, you know, whatever hanging on or whatever. Uh, capeless, pretty cool. A lot of uh, creases in that. The cowl, uh, obviously Dark Knight Returns, you know, very, sh the ears are very short and it's a wide mask, wide face because, you know, that's, you know, pretty cool design. Black and gray, basically, this is the look that inspired the Batfleck character from uh, Batman, the Snyder verse, so that's, you know, there you go. Belt is pretty cool looking. So yeah, pretty solid looking uh, figure right there. So accessory wise, it comes with a decent amount. It comes with the usual stuff for the horse, whatever the legs and the tail. Comes with two pairs of fists, one basically a pair of fists and the other, uh, you know, open hand class so you can hold on to like the horse reins and the uh, batter ring and a rope probably, I guess. Uh, comes with the, the usual figure stand and a character card. So the usual stuff, so that's pretty cool. So surprisingly, I got him to do the one leg challenge I like to do every now and then, but let's take a look at his uh, articulation, shall we? So his head goes back not so far, goes forward a little a bit far, rotation, of course, tilt, tilt, and goes up that far, butterfly hinge, not too much true bar butterfly hinge just because his chest is so big, but it's there. Uh, rot his arm can rotate a little bit on the top. Rotation at the elbow though, and he has uh, the one joint at the elbow. Or, yep. Uh, rotation at the wrists and back and forth. He bend to the sides. He has those usual joints we have, so he can bend back that far, bend forward that far. Rotation at the waist and the diaphragm. Laser apart that far, can go forward and back that far. Rotation at the thigh, double joint at the knee, uh, ankle rotation back and forth, and toe articulation. So, let's uh, take a break from the figure and let's build us a horse. Okay, so normally you know I do these videos just straight out for uh, whatever. The uh, build the figure it has their own videos, but I figure since this, the horse is more or less is transportation, we're just going to just do it as part of the Batman video. So let's uh, do the build and hope we can do a pretty decent job. So we got your chest here. 
probably going to have to put the uh, horse in the middle to start. So I'll try to talk my way through this. I'll put the uh, tail in while we're at it too while I think about that. I'm pretty sure this is how it's all going to go down. I'm pretty sure the legs will go in last, so the uh, harness will go in last. So slowly but steadily, hopefully we'll uh, get everything to, to connect together. And everything's going to stay on and it's going to be pretty cool. So, you know, I'm going to try to talk to try to talk through this whole thing so I just keep my mouth shut but we'll see how it goes you know usually I'm just trying to concentrate on the build and trying to just put everything together so we're going to try to put the horse head horse tail in first and that's probably a muck up already or at least we should just put the horse head in first tail in next that's a little bit that front part looks a little bit off we're going to try to even everything out These things are always a struggle. You've watched these videos. You know I struggle with it more than I would like. So it's all about just get everything lined up, everything nice and even, so everything clicks in the way it's close to. Really, they rarely ever do, guys. You know, if you've seen these videos, you know I do tend to struggle. But we'll figure it out. We will get there, and it will be a success. Is if you know, I'm pretty sure that these are two slots. So we're gonna try to slot them in. Slot them in. So. Get that front part going. There we go. We got that nice and even. I don't think it shouldn't have been that hard, that tricky. But you know, I do tend to make these things a little bit harder than they should be. As if you've you know you've seen these videos, you probably know that by now. So let's put the legs on. Try to get the right, the correct legs on the horse. I'm gonna put the. Uh, that thing, the, uh, there we go, got that going on, get leg number one in for the rear, get leg number two in for the rear, on a Try to figure out how to put the saddle on because I probably mucked that up nice and good. Well, you want to put the saddle on before you get both legs in, right? Yeah, we're struggling. This might be another one of those uh, ones where you just fast forward past this part. Because, you know, I do like to struggle with these, right? And we got that on backwards, so... Here I thought we had a little victory. It's definitely going to be one of those ones where you fast forward past the build, probably. So it is a horse after all. There we go. Get. Now we just got to get to make sure we put the right... Well, they're labeled right and left, so basically all I got to do is put the right one in. The right... Put the left one in the left. And 
And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a horse. Uh, it's a big horse. What the hell is the horse's name? I know, I know that he has, it's Ace, it's not Ace the Bad Hound. I know it's some other name that he goes by. But you know, we got the horse going on. We'll uh, put Batman on the horse next and see how he looks. Would, would be nice if we can get that, you know, that two-legged pose. But I'm not sure if he can hold it. would be nice if, if we can get him to hold it, though. But that's your horse, sir. So, yeah, I have the horse on... So, I have the horse standing on the two legs. It probably has a tail assist, but still. Got him on that, you know, the hind legs. In one of the more iconic shots from the book where he shows up to the uh, meeting with the sons of the Batman and uh, basically tells him, you know, this is, you know, this is how it is. So that's pretty cool. And once again, I'm trying to do, replicate another of the iconic scenes, the per scenes where he's actually on horseback looking very intimidating and, you know, determined and whatnot. Because, you know, that towards the end, you know, he decides he's going to, you know, he's going to inflict his own form of martial law to, to control, not necessarily control God with him, but keep the peace, I guess. So, yep, there you go. Okay, so we have all the figures that are more or less from Dark Knight Returns. Uh, I kind of feel like the armored one is out of place. I feel like, basically, this whole thing was a whole different story animal all together they probably did this one and just got inspired to actually do the wave so it actually looks you know he looks out of he looks out of scale compared to like the other figures obviously he's a bit taller and definitely a bit less comic inspired but I'm not saying it's not a cool figure but I feel like it uh it's not really in I don't think it's in the, the proper scale of the rest of the figures but still it is what it is right okay so when I first heard the horse was gonna be the build a figure I did scoff a bit roll my eyes whatever but I gotta say I'm impressed I'm impressed by the scale I'm impressed how he looks with Batman on it so you know it's pretty solid I dig it a lot I'm kind of surprised how much I dig it uh, you know, as I, I do like posing him, it's a lot of fun to try to get those comic book poses, especially with him on his hind legs, especially when he's trying to do the running. And besides, besides the fact that Batman's a solid figure regardless, just I think the horse, you know, him on horseback is just as iconic and for the final ride in the book as anything else. So yeah, I guess, uh, you know, Sometimes I'm wrong, as usual. So, yeah. If you can find this wave, why not get it? Why not collect it? Why not pull the horse? So, that's it for this review. I want to thank you guys. Uh, I have a few more DC Multiverse. I have another uh, build a figure wave coming up. I have the Con L Superboy figure. Want to see how he's in scale with Superman. We'll see how that goes. And, uh, you know, I've got plenty of Marvel Legends. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, you like what I'm doing with the Marvel, the, uh, McFarlane and the Marvel Legends, let me know. Click that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, share a video, whatever. So that's it for this review. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching the build. Dealing with the build. You know, I was a little lengthy. It's a little struggle. Sometimes I do struggle with these builds, but it's okay. Because the endings are always fantastic. So, that's it for this go around. Thank you once again. I won't say thank you enough. Uh, so until the next time, keep on collecting and happy hunting.